All right, welcome. Oh my gosh, Christmas is a week away. And I don't know about you guys, but things feel a little bit different. But I was just, I was listening to a podcast, I think it was a week or two ago, and I wanted to share about mentorship mindset before we move on to other stuff. I wanted to share this because it really hit home to me and I hope it hits home to you. So I'm going to just kind of go on some things that I highlighted that I wrote down that I think that you're going to find really valuable um, just with yourself as you're looking for a, ment for a mentor or, or if you have a mentor that you look up to right now, but also in looking at ourselves as mentors, as we are mentoring people on our team too. And even sometimes we are mentors for sideline sisters too, you know, sometimes um, sideline sisters look up to us or look, look to us to mentor them. And are we doing our very, very best to do that? So anyway, I'm going to just go over some things that I wrote down that really hit home for me and hopefully you guys find valuable too. So um, a mentorship mentorship mindset is what he was talking about. Um, and that is someone who has the desire to learn, to grow, to have a successful business, to have a successful life. And I would say that's all of us, right? <laughs> we all have a mentorship mindset for sure. As I was going through some of this stuff, I, I could totally think of some of you guys for certain things, like some of your strengths that you guys have. And I thought that was kind of neat. But um, anyways, a mentorship uh, mindset, you know, helping people grow, helping them learn, but it's also a two-way street. And to where I think sometimes we can forget that when we're mentoring someone that it actually is, they add value to our life too. Sometimes we might get into like that teaching mode um, and forget that it, it really needs to be a two-way street. And that's kind of what hit me in this is to making sure that it is a two-way street. So they ask questions, you help guide them. Um, mentoring someone is, you know, pouring into their life. And he talks about characteristics of a mind of mentoring mindship. And number one is has a passion for growth, which I kind of already said. Um, a person says, I not only need to grow, but I need people to help me grow. And I think a lot of times we look to each other for that too. You guys help me grow and help push me to a higher level. And that's what I love about this group. I love about your friendships. Um, and number two, characteristics of a mentoring mind, a mindset, people who really want um, to be mentored um, desire to add value to others, or we want to, we want to add value to others. I see that in every single one of you. We can be the river or a, or a reservoir. And a reservoir is um, taking all we learn and just like keeping it to ourselves. And a river is taking all that we learn and passing that on to other people. Mentoring mindset um, has a passion and continually at, is adding value to other people. And I see us doing that all the time. And number three is having a passion and desire is what keeps us going when times get tough. So this is kind of, in my opinion, like what sets people apart. So I think of people that I've mentored or tried to mentor and they've quit, you know, they just didn't have the passion or desire to keep going when it got tough, right? Um, some people get more passion by helping others be successful. And I definitely feel that way. I feel more passionate when I'm helping other people be successful. When I help someone hit fast or sober, I mean, it's just like the greatest feeling. And it's not a great feeling in the aspect of like, hey, look at me, I developed a fast start silver. It's not that at all. It's that I'm so happy for them to be getting that deposit in their account <laughs> for because I know they've shared with me the reasons why they need that money. And even if they don't need it, oh my gosh, what a blessing 300 or $400 is gonna be. I mean, it's just, it's so great. When looking for a mentor, look for someone good at areas um, that you want to grow in. So that's something I know that many of us have mentors and coaches. What areas do you mentor in? And typically these are areas you've been successful in. So we teach what we know, right? So we always want to be learning. So we're always growing so we can keep continually teaching people and keep ourselves, um, you know, lifting the lid. Is that what the phrase is? 
lift the lid, <laughs> keep lifting the lid. And number four, characteristics of a mentoring mindset is um, close relationships, having passion, being consistent. So being close with that person that you're mentoring and a, a nice close relationship. Great mentors are very giving. And when you have a mentoring mindset, you, number five, possess quality of hum humility. And I really love this part. Humility is a great part of, of a successful person's life. And he just reminded me to talk about failures and struggles more. I can go through my Facebook and go, have I talked about failures and struggles in the last two months? No. Have I had struggles? Yes. <laughs> so talking about those more. I love when he always says success and failure belong in the same line. Success, when failure is, is beside me, I learn humility. And humility keeps me humble. When failure and success are together, I learn resilience. Resilience gets me up and keeps me going when it's really, really hard. And then number six characteristics, uh, mentoring mind mindset, always looking for people with high values. Great mentors always want to improve themselves and improve other people's lives. And statistically, it's known that people only hit 40% of their capacity. So think about the people that you've been mentoring and coaching within your business or within your, you know, within your team. And keep in mind that people usually only hit 40% of their capacity. We can mentor them to hit and reach heights that they've never reached before. And so also one thing that I really liked that he talked about is if you want to have a good mentoring relationship with someone, you've got to do these things. And this is something I'm changing because <laughs> I mentor a lot of people, but this is not a conversation I have had with anyone. Like what you can expect of me and what I expect of you in this mentoring relationship. I think that's huge to have that communication. So I'm going to be definitely doing this from now on. Uh, have clear expectations of what the mentoring re relationship looks like. So he talks about we expectations, not just like I expect of you. Um, a return on investment for both people will make each other better. I'll teach you, but you'll also be ble a blessing to me. We will make each other better. And then you expectations is, what I expect from you is that you come and you be ready, that you earn my time. And he talks about earning my time, which I think this is really awesome, is by continually growing and improving yourself. You know, I know I've poured into people, you guys have probably poured into people before, and it just feels like all you're doing is pouring in and pouring in and pouring in, but they're not like taking that initiative to like, you know look for something themselves or get involved in something themselves and continually grow themselves, like grab a book that they like that they feel is going to help them versus like us constantly like spoon feeding people. And so I really love this. Earn my time by, I expect you to keep growing and improving and growth in our relationship. Do more than just learn. I expect you to improve. And this one was key. He said, if someone doesn't do this, he feels like he's just completely wasted his, his time. And he tells them in this mentoring relationship, I expect you to mentor someone else when I'm done mentoring you. There's that duplication. There's that us passing on what we know and them also learning from us and being able to mentor other people, be a river, not a reservoir. And then what they should expect of me. And, you know, everyone could write down different things probably for this as you're mentoring people. You know, the, the we part, the you part, and then the, the me part, what you should expect of me is I'll be a safe place. And I've never done this with somebody and I'm so excited to do it. I'll be a safe place for you. I'm not going to tell other people about what you tell me. Um, I'm going to be your friend. I want what's best for you. You can feel secure and you can feel safe. I'll be available when needed not available all the time and explaining that a little bit too, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm not always on my phone. I'm not going to respond always right away. I'll always give you my best, what you can expect of me. And I'll look for your best interest all the time. I've got your back. And I think that's just so important. So questions to ask ourselves um, with this is who mentors me? Who mentors you? And when do they mentor you? 
how do they mentor you? How do I maximize my mentoring with my mentor? <laughs> and so part of that is who mentors me? Uh, the, the What you can ask yourself is when you're choosing a mentor, have they been successful? Have they had a lot of experience? Are they above me? Am I going to learn from them? And are they successful right now? Or were they just successful five years ago? And number three, have they um, passed the crisis test? Meaning wisdom comes out of crisis and hard times. Have they been through hard times and kept pushing through? And number four, are they continually growing? Do you see your mentor growing? And again, ask yourself these questions because am I this mentor? You know, am I successful right now? Have I passed a crisis test? <laughs> am I continually growing? So if we're looking towards, you know, someone else mentoring us, do they have a passion for what they're doing? Or if we're looking at ourselves, do I have a passion in what I'm doing? Um, and are they doing it now? Or I, as a mentor, am I doing it now? Am I growing? Am I, is my passion contagious? And you can tell those who have stopped. You can tell those that have stopped growing that have maybe had success at one point, but now they don't really have passion. They're not growing. You can notice when they are constantly repeating themselves or you may even pass up your mentor because she's stopped growing or he has stopped growing. Or if we're looking at ourselves, could someone else on, on my team just pass me up because they're growing more than I'm growing? And number five, are they emotionally grounded? And that's perspective. He said this one thing and keep this in mind. Dysfunct dysfunctional leaders lead out of their issues instead of good perspective. Eh. And number six, uh, or num yeah, number six, do they have a greatness that's bigger than work? What kind of spirit do they have? What else do they get excited about? So anyway, I hope that inspired you, whether you're looking, you know, both ways, I think you can look at it as when someone's mentoring you and you're looking for that right fit. And also just looking at ourselves and how we can be better mentors to our team. All right. Hopefully that was helpful. And I, I'll put the, it was a podcast. Was it a podcast? It was a YouTube. It was on his YouTube. I'll put it in the chat here in just a little bit. But all right, let's go around and say uh, a win that you've had or something that you're proud of in the month of December. It could be personal growth. It could be a business achievement. It could be life. Anything. Karen's going to go first. She says no. Okay, so Lisa's going to go first. Remember, I'm not the spur of the moment call on me, girl. Okay. Well, all right. Um, let's think about this a minute. So if we're thinking something you're just proud of in the last month in your life, your business or in your growth. Sarah wants to go. I'll go. Mine's not all like hunky dory fun, but I would say I and what's said here stays here, but I had an issue with one of my uh business builders being upset with me over just something totally random and um I had to push through in some areas because she was not communicating and I wanted to communicate and I I said that from the very beginning like when I work with my leaders and just learn this through experience at church and working with people and running businesses it's like when something comes up make sure you're communicating because when you're not you hear all the lies, you build it up, you start judging in different areas. It just can totally mess with you. And so 
uh, this person did not do that. And it festered, it grew, it turned into something that it wasn't even uh, intentional about because they didn't communicate. And so I just, my win is I prayed through it. I made sure I would stayed very um, level-headed about it and just kind of offered several times, like, can we get on the phone? Can we talk? How can I help you? And just talk through it with keeping it very relational. And I think it's smoothed over. Good job. I think that like with the, this mentorship stuff that I just read about, if you're going into a relationship with someone, that would be something that we could add to that, right? Is communication and why it's so important. And I think it's even like giving examples, you know, for example, I had someone once that, you know, there's always examples, but I'm really proud of you for pushing through it and being a leader and a coach and not just you know, the easy road would be to just ignore it and brush right. it under the rug, right? And just be like, well, hopefully it just kind of gets better on its own. But so I think that's great that you took the initiative and you kept pushing through it. Yeah. And we got to be willing to, you know, be wrong because even if it's not like a matter of right and wrong, that person's offenses seem like, you know, you might have done something wrong. So you have to not always be right, but be willing to, you know, say your side of it and listen to their side of it. And like I said, and that's, and that's that humility piece, us being humble, knowing, you know, if we are wrong to just say it (laughs) yeah, or admit it if we are and move forward. Yeah. I think that speaks volumes to people. Yeah. Because I think sometimes, I don't know if you guys think this or not, but do you think sometimes people think that we just have it all together and just running things just perfectly, you know, like people on our teams, you know, we make mistakes. We're human. We can make big mistakes. I know I've made big mistakes before in the past and you learn. That's what makes yeah. us humble. And I, I think another part of that too is also speaking, um, even if you're a leader, sometimes you can get judged in a certain way. Like somebody might be expecting you to do an event for them, or somebody might be expecting you to give them a certain amount of money um, or just, you know, expectations. And so you need to be also confident. This is just one of the areas in there that, you have your own boundaries. Like if there's a financial boundary that you're not willing to go past, I mean, you got to speak your mind and, and be confident in that Mm -hmm. setting those boundaries. So good. Yeah. Anybody else want to share now? (laughs) Okay. It takes me a minute. Remember? I don't like being close. (laughs) Okay, so um, kind of a win is, and I know we've said this, I've kind of given up on the, my local upline, who's my sponsor, doing anything. So um, one of my new VIPs, G and I kind of organized a holiday vendor event. And then tomorrow night, I'm having all my local people who um, have shared or say they're going to share. Anyway, we're having a Christmas party tomorrow night. So we used to do more not that we really did a lot of in person because you know there's just a couple of us under my sponsor locally but um but just trying to get more team um feeling back and all that and figured I've just got to do it myself because I don't think she ever will so and now everybody's all excited on coming over so it'll be fun you're gonna do awesome I can't wait to see the fun pictures and everybody smiling and having fun Good job. That's going to be awesome. You could do a white elephant gift. Have people bring a white elephant oh, I've got, gift. I'm, well, I'm doing them all because I wanted to get on a little something anyway. So I'm mm-hmm. doing a bunch of gifts and we're going to play games and cool. got some different little fun games to some plexus related, some not. So yeah, awesome. I want to come. Can I come? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish so bad. All my closest friends live far away from me. Anybody else want to share? I guess I'll, I'll share. So I think like if I look at the last few weeks or so, I'm just proud of myself for kind of like, you know, digging in and creating my own kind of like mini series that I'm doing. Um, a few glitches on social media, <laughs> but um, just kind of, I've really been finding joy in my business. And I think I now realize why. And it's because I've been really giving and adding value. It's, that's like been my focus for the month of December, really. And building relationships. And I'm having fun with this little mini series and just different topics and kind of taking notes for what I want to do next year, what I want to do different, what I don't want to do. So it's kind of like, I'm just learning but I'm proud of myself for just sitting down and typing up what I want to talk about and just little bullet points or whatever and having fun with it. And I just feel joyful. And I think the difference this year than last year was last year in December, I was working really, really hard to earn leaders retreat in December. Like I literally earned it the last day of the month. So I was working through Christmas vacation and I was stressed. I mean, it was like down to like the point credits that I needed on the last day. And I'm like, that's not fair. Can we just not have these contests around Christmas, please? Um, so this year I said to myself, I'm just going to pretend that November 30th is the deadline and come hell or high water, I'm earning this freaking trip by then because I am not <laughs> going to have my Christmas look like it did last year. You know, I want to have my family time. I want to go do things. And I was attached to my computer and my phone. And my daughter, Grace, remembers it. So um, this year, it feels different because now, having done that, of course, any other extra credits are like, you know, icing on the cake kind of thing is how I feel. And, but I feel like this gives me, now my brain can expand and like, get into creative mo mode and do different things that I've, that I've wanted to do for a while now. And so I'm proud of myself for just number one, getting that trip earned early and just trying some new stuff, doing new things, continuing to grow. So Nicole wants to share. Hey, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm kind of multitasking and sending mail out while you, I'm listening to you. Um, so I thought of something. I feel like, so for the longest time, um, I guess, yeah, for like six years or whatever, we've been part of this team page with my upline. So it's our Sapphire uplines team page. Um, and really like me and my, Emerald Upline, which is my sister-in-law, like we always were like also helping with this, our Sapphire Upline, like helping her run it. Like it was literally like the three of us running that team page together. Um, and then there's been a period where that upline has just been really MIA and it felt like it was just me and Amy, you know, running that page. Um, but we had been thinking about it for a long time, like starting our own Facebook group. And we've already had a Facebook group for our own team. Like she and I, like back in like 2019, started one for our business builders. So we have one for those people, but we never had like another one for all of our VIPs. Um, we had always used that, our upline one, just because it was like, so it was awesome. Like it was so big. It was very interactive, like so many fun things going on there. And like, we almost didn't want to break away because there's so many awesome things in that group. You know what I mean? And there's so many resources that are, have been in there for years that we can tag people in, you know? So it's almost like hard to want to start your own, but we decided to do it. And um, so I'm like really proud of that. And we've, you know, just starting from scratch and our community is up to probably, I think 300 people just since, I guess we started it in late September, I want to say we started the group. And so um, 
you know, just getting people in there, like they're already in this other group. So just moving all those people over was kind of going to be a process. And they're kind of, you know, what's this? Why are we doing a new group? You know, there's still some people in there that or some people that aren't in there yet. So anyways, it's still a process, but, you know, starting over with your own systems and things like that. And really just showing up like every single week for our team. We do twice a week. We have calls. And so I don't know, I guess just looking back at that and just being glad that I have, you know, stuck through all of that. Like we um, create these calls for our team, whether nobody shows up or not. Sometimes it's just me and Amy and that's okay. Then we get our planning done. But then there's other times there's like, you know, five to 10 people on and, you know, so it's, it's okay that it's not huge. And we're just, I feel like still in the works of like really good, bigger things coming. Right. So anyways, I guess just that. And, you know, in the same sense as what you said earlier, like, you know, just earning the leaders retreat cruise, like by a hair was <laughs> how I earned it. Um, and so being in a different space with this other um, contest where I earned it earlier and earning the extra prizes is kind of like huge to me. So also proud of that too. Good job. Good I think, job. I think, it, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, why am I, oh, why am I, oh. <laughs> I think that we need to write corporate and tell them, please don't have these contests over Christmas, <laughs> at least the deadline, right? Like have the deadline January 30th, if it's going to be that way. I can, I'm really proud of you. That's going to be awesome new adventure for you to be starting your own pages. Like I can see the excitement in you just when you talk about it. How did you handle that with, um, I'm just curious, like people when they ask questions, you know, cause it's like, Oh, did something happen? Did you just kind of. Um, we just kept it. I kept it super positive. I didn't yeah. put anything yeah. negative um, about it, but we just kind of basically said like, We've been wanting to do this for a while. You know, we've had one for our business builder team, but we ha have been wanting to create a community for just our customers. And now is the time our businesses are um, growing so much that we really need our own team page and or community page. And so that's how we framed it and just kept it really excited and positive and just basically sent out a you know text to everybody explaining like, you know, you can stay in the other group, but just let you know, like, this is our new group. This is where we're going to be. You're not going to see us posting in, you know, XYZ group as often anymore. Mm -hmm. If you want to know what's going on and, you know, see all the fun things happening and, you know, we've created a lot of fun things and we're, we're super consistent. Like I said, you know, showing up every week and there's always like fun giveaways. We're doing fun um, challenges and stuff that we're setting up. And I've just, I'm really happy about it because like everybody's been super engaging and like, with the other group, like the engagement had fallen back a lot. And so, um, yeah, the engagement has been really high. And I think one thing that helped is one of our challenges we did within our group. So versus creating a new group for, you know, a 10 day challenge, mm -hmm. um, which we did for some of our challenges, but for, for the one we just did this month, um, the first week in December, it's really brought our engagement up because for them to get points for, um, entries in our drawings, you had a comment on posts and there were two posts a day, each day for this 10 day challenge. So that has helped a lot with our engagement and people actually seeing stuff, you know? That's awesome. I love it. I'm excited for you. And, you know, maybe it'll make the, the other person who's in that page kind of step up and be like, Oh, <laughs> maybe I need to do something here with this page. With this page. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, she's not in our new one, but yeah, yeah. She, I mean, yeah. she knows, and we've had a conversation with her and she knows we've been wanting to do it for a while too, but yeah, she's kind of trying to step back into her business, but I just, we needed to do our own thing. Cause yeah. <laughs> That's so good. So, so good. Lisa. Love your sweater. Thanks. I'm going to pass today. I'm just here to listen, but thanks. All right. Anybody else? Vicki, Rebecca? I think Vicki's in the doctor's office waiting room. Oh, is she? Yeah. So she can't, I don't guess she can talk. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't see that. All right. Well, let's move into um, anyone's plans or ideas. 
you know, um, I know this, this week is different because obviously it's Christmas and we should be taking off and enjoying our family and knowing that we can and just unplug. And so, you know, I'm kind of gathering my, you know, do relationship building, a lot of relationship building, and then coming back to them on the 27th. So the 27th will be a big work day. And, and then we hit January. So I'd love to hear anybody's ideas, you know, for what you're planning on doing after Christmas and into January, I think, you know, collaborating and sharing some ideas that will give us all time to sort of, you know, ask questions of each other and create whatever we're going to create in January. I think right now is a great time to look at what do I want my January to look like, to feel like, and things like that. Anybody have any stuff that you're already working on and looking at? I'm planning on kind of waiting. I mean, I'm, I'm making my list of people to reach out to, but if there, if Plexus is going to do something, it'll be on the 28th. So I'm kind of more gearing toward that. Plus we're going to be at the cabin through the 27th, but uh, definitely, you know, more following up on the 28th. Didn't they have something last year? Do you mean like a special? Probably. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like they did. I feel like it was like a site-wide sale or something like yeah. that. And they wait till it sells around. I think, um, I don't know about a sale, but aren't they doing something else for reset in January? Or I heard there's some something coming from Plexus. Like, I don't know if it's going to be for what they just did or something better. I don't know. Did y'all get the thing about registering for something on the 21st? The gold thing? Gold plus January. I don't know what that is, but there's something on the 21st. Just, it's going to, they're going to be filling us in. I think about what's to come. Uh, the jewel call is tomorrow. And so, you know how they've been including other ranks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think that might be, they'll be sharing oh, some of the That's what thing. they meant by gold plus. Okay. I'm like gold plus. What's that? Got it. That's my guess. Yeah. Was that an it's, email that we're supposed good. to register well, no, for? I got, I got a text. I, got I a just text. got a text right before the meeting. Oh, okay. I haven't looked at my phone, so I will look at that. I got both. Yep. I got an email oh. to you at 110. What else is coming up that I, <laughs> that's it, right? Yes. This, this is the first I heard about it today okay. was whenever I got that. So I guess they're going to tell us what's coming in January. So that'll be good. Giving us a heads up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think there's a big challenge a that they're doing. Um, my team hasn't really used the reset ones. Um, we've been in that blossom and balance challenge, which has been okay. Um, I don't know my my team, and I'm not speaking of just me and down. It's my Sapphire leader and and all of her team. We are on a team page together, and. Some people are like, oh, we get so lost in those big challenges and prefer to do them on our own team page, which is fine. But I don't know, sometimes it's hard to figure out which is best. Um, um, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes, sometimes it has, has really, really big stuff. Big stuff. <laughs> yeah, I tend to use the corporate ones as like a additional supplemental idea, like, you know, um, for the last reset thing, like we had our own team one, but there's also the corporate thing. So I just directed my, per my people that were doing reset to both, you know, like, well, there's, you know, chances to win prizes in both areas. If you want to, you know, join both of these groups that way, it kind of gave them the option. I know that kind of sounds like too much, but like, I agree. Like, I don't really love using the corporate things, but I do like that they're there. It's nice that they do have things, especially for people that don't have like upline support or people that are still new in the business and don't know how to create their own events. But yeah, I kind of like really do enjoy doing smaller ones. Um, and then you can kind of see like, I mean, when I have my own smaller group with just our customer base in it, I'm seeing what people are commenting commenting what they're asking questions on when it's in a big corporate thing like I'm not seeing everybody's questions because their questions might be lost in the sauce of a hundred other comments so that's one thing that I don't like with that um 
but that's, I don't know, that's just me. So we did decide to announce like for our team, a 21 day weight loss challenge for January. And we figured that might help us close them, close the month strong, you know, telling everybody like at least on our current customers, um, that you have till December 31st to get into this January challenge. And so that might help people, you know, get their orders in before the end of the month. And then we decided to do like a $10 buy-in for it. And then all that $10, you know, everyone's $10 all goes into a pot for a cash um, jackpot winner. So we're projecting that we'll have 50 people and that we would have like a $500 jackpot just based on our previous challenges of the number of people that have signed up. So that's what we're going for. Um, and then we're going to have 6K steps as an optional, like, you know, you don't have to do the steps as part of the challenge, but if you want to, every week we're doing um, a drawing for everybody that comments that they got their 6K steps in each day that week. And then each week we're going to start fresh with that. Like, okay, week two, you know, 6K step challenge and we have new prizes each week. So that way people, you know, have a clean slate. If they mess up the first week, they feel like they didn't do too well. They still have a chance, you know, next week. So um so that's pretty much it. So we're just requiring a hundred PV plexus order and then their $10 buy-in and they're signing up via a Google form that I linked to a Google sheets. So then I can see everything and then doing it in a separate Facebook group. So that's what we're doing, but also of course, talking to potentials about it and we'll probably like let people get it. Like we're not starting it till January 8th. So maybe the first couple of days we'll probably extend it like through January 3rd or something for people to get in. Dang, I love that idea. And I love everything about it. <laughs> like, are you um creating your own like your own event and how you want it to go for each day, your own graphics and all that stuff? Yeah, I think pretty much. And I saw Sarah's question too. She said, um, what products are you focusing on? Um, we're gonna be, I mean, so we're gonna be doing product education within the group, but we're telling people like whatever products you want to do this challenge, but, you know, pick, if you're going for weight loss here, pick products that are going to help you, you know, achieve that goal. Or we can help you choose those if you need help. So, um, yeah, it's, this is how I do groups like or events. I don't have anything prepared in advance before I announce the event. Mm -hmm. I announce the mm -hmm. event, create the graphics and say, here, we're doing it and create the group. And then later I figure out the content. So yeah, we're just, we're going to figure that out ourselves and maybe like we'll get some content from like that VIP graphics group. Like just maybe some of her graphics will work for what we're doing. Maybe not. Like maybe I'll just create my own. I, I don't know. Just use Canva and stuff. So I love that. I love that. So are you, are you, um, I don't know why when you're unmuted, I echo, I don't know if everyone else hears the echo or not, but I don't know why. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm totally like wrapping my head around this because I, I love this idea so much. And are you, you know, having them, so you, it's kind of like you'll have education posts, you'll have a challenge of, of 6,000 steps a day if they want to, but it sounds like it's just like a lot of fun and kind of accountability. And, and are you given like a prize away for anything like who has the biggest, like, you know, some people have done like the biggest loser or something like that, or, you know, is this like kindergarten where everybody gets a trophy because nobody can lose or whatever. <laughs> so uh, we're doing the weekly prizes for the six K set people. There's, those are going to be like gifts, you know, they might be like a Stanley one day, another, you know, um, just random fun stuff like that. But then because everyone's doing $10 Venmoing me $10, all that money goes into a pot. So the biggest loser, which is going to be based on the person that loses the most percentage of themselves. So it'll level the playing field, you know, so larger people versus smaller people, it's just your a percentage, you know? So, um, it, they're, they have to weigh in on day one and submit it via Google form. And they're going to take a picture of the, um, scale showing their feet on the scale, and they're going to be holding a piece of paper that has the code word that we give that day because we don't want people like weighing themselves, you know, a week ahead or whatever. Like 
just so people don't cheat. Um, cause we actually had that happen in one of our groups, which was crazy, but anyways, um, so like, we'll put up a code word that says like, happy new year. And they'll have to hold a picture of the paper saying happy new year. And then you see their picture of their feet on the scale with their number. And then they weigh in again at the, at the end. We're not doing like multiple weigh-ins a week or anything like that. It's just literally day one and then day 21. And then we are also going to probably have like random pop-up giveaways, like maybe just one or two throughout the challenge, like maybe like a midway, you know, you're halfway there kind of a prize based on participation. Um, then we'll probably have one based on like encouraging people to make a post, you know, like if you post, um, something about like, Hey, I'm doing this 21 day challenge. I'm using these products. You know, this is what it's helping me with. I'm so excited to start the new year off on the right foot for my health kind of a thing. We'll give them like a post idea and say, post it with a picture, drop a picture, a screenshot of your post. Once you do it in the comments and you'll be entered to win whatever this prize is, you know what I mean? So yeah, we like to do like a lot of give like giveaways. Like we don't spend a lot though, either. We're pretty I don't know, I guess frugal with what we deals we find on, on gifts and stuff too. So it's not like we go too crazy. Um, and then we're going to do health tips and we'll probably be sharing like a weekly lean recipe as well. And then we're pointing people to pivotal and we're pointing them to the, you know, if you want the healthy recipes, go to pivotal, make sure you, you know, right away from the get-go, we'll make sure they're logged in on the go app and they're signed up for Pivotal and all that stuff. And like, I'll probably pop a screenshot every once in a while of like a recipe there just to show people like, Hey, this is what I saw in Pivotal. Do you guys see it? What are you making this week? Just so it gives them FOMO for the people that still aren't registered for it. Um, and like Amy is a personal trainer and in the past, she's done like, you know, workout videos for these groups. Um, she doesn't want to do that this time. She said she might be posting a weekly core video, um, that we'll do like you're supposed to do daily if you want. Um, and then what she's just going to direct people to pivot all, maybe just share exercise tips rather than doing these intense workout videos. Cause she's been burnt out doing so many, so, some of those challenges before. So I don't know, hopefully that helps answer your questions. So yeah, that's really good. I love all these details and that's what these collaboration calls are for, right? I mean, it's like it, you're, you're sparking excitement in me and helping, you know, turning up my creative juices in my brain. You know what I mean? It's like we bounce off of each other. And I love that. So you're not using the the pot of money. The pot of money is going to the winner, right? Yeah. Okay. So your prizes, you guys, you guys are out of your pocket. Yeah. The, the prizes will come out of our pocket, but again, it's, it's two of us splitting that. So it's not so bad. And one of our previous challenges, we actually asked, a core group of our leaders, like anyone that was gold and above. Um, we, I think we said, like we asked, asked the gold people if they would contribute $10, $10 if they wanted to, if they, it, we said, if you're planning on promoting this event and, and if you can, would you be willing to contribute $10? And then like the people that were senior gold and above, well, we don't have groupies, but senior golds, we asked them if they would contribute, I think 15 or 20. So that way, you know, we get we got some extra money from other people and that's just to contribute towards the prizes. I mean, we really have never done that before. I think that was only the second time I think we've asked them to contribute. So usually it's just us doing the prizes, but I think they're usually pretty happy to help out since we're running it. <laughs> what a great thing that we could, you know, look at promoting this to some of our golds. <laughs> I mean, I have golds that aren't doing anything. Um, still some miraculous way they're still gold or senior gold and it's like you're not even doing anything and you're still but it might excite them and then getting you know some of their friends that are in there on their team to do it with them and you know I was planning on doing like a silver and seven group and then I'm also doing a um, I'm already setting up a group on the 20 I'm either going to do it on the 28th or 29th where I'm going to have a party you know, a wellness party. So um, I'm going to be talking to people that have joined in October and November and December and ask them to just invite like two friends, you know, at least. Um, um, and they so what, oh, sorry. Can you elaborate on what the wellness party is going to be about? Like what you're going to do at it? Is it a Zoom too, or a Facebook group? I'm going to do it in a separate, I'm setting up a separate Facebook group. 
So, I mean, I could do, I have a lot of different ideas. I could do a pajama party. I could do a, um, really, I just want to excite people. There's so many people that are going to be looking for something after January 1st, or they're already looking now <laughs> to what they're going to do after Christmas. So I just felt like I'm going to add, I, you know, my goal is to have at least five other women be say a host. So they invite people and then I will highlight them within the group as hosts and maybe even do like a prize for what host invites the most guests. So something to like motivate them to invite people and get more and more people in to learn about what Plexus is, if it could, you know, be a good fit for them and then also share the business side of it. She must have someone at the door. And then um, if Plexus is doing something on the 28th and say my party's that night, then I can incorporate that into the party once I know what Plexus is doing on the 28th. Or maybe I hold off and have the party on the 29th so I can really have just one more day to like gather. But I want time to close people too. So I'm like 28th, if I have the party on the 28th, that gives me the 29th, 30th, and then people are busy for New Year's. So I probably should just hold it on the 28th as I'm talking to myself, right? <laughs> I think looking at the calendar, the 28th makes sense because the 29th is a Friday. Like, I know it's not New Year's Eve yet, but like Fridays are just, I feel like people are checked out regardless, um, just in my opinion. Yeah, I feel like the 28th Thursday is a great idea and I might cop, I might copy your idea. <laughs> I like yeah, it. yeah. And then, because I feel like this would flow into then doing, um, I don't know what you're calling your contest, but, you know, then, then talking about this contest coming up to where they'll have they'll get their products and then they join the contest thing. If weight loss is their goal, you know? Yeah, I have to say, so I always love Facebook events. Like I love running, you know, creating a quick, you know, 30 minute wellness event for somebody or woman. And usually they're pretty successful. You know, at least you get a couple people from them. But this last one I just did recently, I'm so mad. I hate to be mad, but like this person has done this before. Like I created the wellness event for her, like maybe years ago. And then she's just been so like off and on, like doesn't really share out of the blue though. Recently she had started sharing again, but she was like sharing her link and her posts and things like that. So I was trying to coach her on the side, like, Hey, I see you've been sharing again. Like, and then, um, you know, I'd love to help share some tips with you, how to help you build up your business again. I mean, she went silver like years ago and then never did anything else again. So anyways, um, so I offered her a wellness event. She seemed really excited. We did it on her birthday week, calling calling it like a birthday um, wellness party. I offered in the group like, um, you know, what's a, a birthday party without goodie or um, party favors? You know, I'm, I want to send out some goodie bags to some people. Comment here what flavors of these samples would interest you. Like, there are so many things that like nobody comment, like the only people that commented on anything was like her mom and her sister, which already take plexus. And so, um, anyways, this girl that I did it for just like, she did nothing. And I coached her on all these things. I'm like, this is how we do it. These are my tips. Like if you do this, if you tag people this way and, you know, make sure you follow up and she just did nothing. And I got no interaction <laughs> in there. So I'm kind of like mad about that. Just, uh, just with her on a personal level. I know she's like a family friend. So anyways, um, but like this idea of having several people, so I'm not just doing, putting all my effort into one person's event and that one person is going to do nothing. Now I have this event that has multiple hosts on my team. So even if like, you know, Amber does nothing, maybe Sally will do something, you know what I mean? And we'll at least have some people that are interactive in the group. So anyways, I just, I really like that and I'm going to go with it. That's really good. And I think like when you talked about, you know, her not showing up and doing her part, that brought to me like this, this conversation with our hosts about expectations, you know, like, like I shared earlier, the, the, we, here's what we are going to do together. Here's what you can expect, you know, the two of us together to make this happen so that they know it's, it's a we thing. And then here's what I expect of you 
right? And then bullet point those things that you expect out of that person. And then here's what you can expect of me. I'm going to do all the work to set up this event. I'm going to give you the graphics. I'm going to give you the invite, invitations that you can send out. A lot, a lot, a lot, right? That, when you said that, I'm like, okay, ding, ding. Make sure to have clear communication with each host. And here's here's how it's going to go. Here's what we're doing. Here's what our expectations. Clear is kind, <laughs> right? So Sarah asked earlier, how are how to motivate people to, I think she's talking about the, um, the party that I was going to do that I feel like is going to lead into this contest, how to motivate people to share and how to invite. So let's talk about that. How to, how, let's toss some ideas out there. I feel like one idea would be definitely the money that if people, um, well, number one, I think getting them on board with how these products could help their friends. And how a, it's such a blessing to be able to help people feel better, just like she is feeling better on these products. She's feeling energy. She's feeling less anxiety. She's sleeping better. And let's bless some of your friends so they can feel better. Let's let's invite them to an event that they can come and learn and see if it's a good fit for them too. And then I think money is a motivation, like talking about what kind of money is on the table if her friends decide to do this and order a combo. I think also talking about like the challenge or the contest coming up would excite people too, right? Like, okay, cool. I'll invite friends to this party. They're going to learn about Plexus and maybe they would want to do this contest with me too. And maybe someone has five pounds to lose or two pounds to lose. And maybe someone has 30 pounds to lose, but it's like a start. It's a start and it's an accountability. And so I think it, exciting them about that too, of what's coming might excite them to invite people to the party. I don't know what you guys think. Would, would that motivate you if you're my person? <laughs> Does any of that motivate you or excite you? How can the products, yeah, Sarah wrote that in here. How can the products help your friends, bless your friends? Money on the table. Money on the table. Yep. Yep. I'm thinking like, if I am going to do this on, on Thursday, the 28th, like you are, I'll probably see if I can maybe run a power hour for my team or something on Wednesday, you know, for inviting, I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to my team about this and see if we want to do it. But, um, that way, like, even though that's only the day before, but like, I feel like last minute invites are even better than like, if you invite now, people are going to forget next week. I feel like, okay, Wednesday, the 27th, Christmas is over. You had that whole day after Christmas. And now it's like, I don't know, a fresh day. Yeah. People are still on break maybe, but, um, I don't know. I feel like I can get people together for a half hour to like, Hey, let's send messages. Let's make a post. Let's make a story. Let's do this. Let's talk to our, let's send a message to our level ones and see, you know, who's interested in being a host or, you know, helping them invite people. So I don't know. I think that might be effective to just do that the day before because otherwise there's not much time. Cause I don't know, starting this weekend and then rolling into Christmas, I feel like I'll be MIA starting Friday night, you know, <laughs> through the 25th. I feel like I have time probably right now to message people this, this week, like today's Tuesday. I could do Tuesday, Wednesday, and I could even message people up Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just, just kind of exciting them and asking them if it's something that they'd like to, to do. And then on the 27th, um, I feel like Something I can work on also this week is have a just do a quick graphic for the party, you know, and have verbiage ready for just an invite. And I, you know, I feel like I could probably, yeah, like you said, I think that is it too late for people to invite people on say like the say like I say, you know, here's here's the invite and here's the graphic. We're gonna do this. We'll invite them on the 27th for the party on the 28th. I don't know. I'm a great last minute person, but Karen needs a week heads up. <laughs> <laughs> just to, i was gonna put something on <laughs> oh, okay 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 <laughs> not okay <laughs> and i feel like i mean right now this week i'll you know i'm creating the group i can get the you know the cover photo cute and a welcome message and at least have like that done um i mean i'll, I'll probably just take a lot of information i've done on my other parties is how how the flow of that went you know the testimonies the 
I'll just, it'll kind of flow the same. So I'll probably just grab it from an old party that I've done and then incorporate whatever is new coming on the 28th. The Plexus is going to tell us about. So I feel like I can reach out now to see if I can get five, you know, have a goal this week to like have five women say they'll be a host, hostess, host. Hosting, yeah. Okay. And, and just commit to inviting at least, you know, a few of their friends to it. And I'll, I'll work on the graphic. That'll be super easy. It doesn't have to be hard. It's just something they'll send in messenger and a little verbiage write up on the invite. And then we'll add people all in there on the 27th. Mm -hmm. So who's all going to do this in here? Who's all going to do it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too. It's like, I love it. It's an awesome idea. I just typed out a couple of other thoughts um, on the 27th. You could do it as a setting a goals call. Just talking about their goals for the new year and then also share about that event. Yeah. And then and there could be a follow-up call with doing vision boards. Like you could do them on a Zoom or in person. I love that. And then maybe even a giveaway. Like I still have a glow set that I might do wow. for anyone that invites people into the Facebook party mm -hmm. that they would get maybe an entry for every person that comes into the group. Oh, I like that. An entry for every person. I like that a lot. Because yeah. someone might go crazy and be like, ooh, I'm going to invite 10 people. <laughs> yes. And you know what I think is cool, Sarah, is that you're giving away a, a product that's different. That I I mean, I love Glow. I use it every day. And and so you're introducing a new product to somebody that, that's going to be the winner. And they'll fall in love with it, you know? Or it could be like, I love our cleanser, but most people don't order that. Like the cleanser and a one of those microfiber base cloths or, you know, whatever. Yeah. See, we could do another call on like prizes. <laughs> Maybe we can share different things in our chat, you know, or I don't know if that would get too overwhelming though. Um, well, and it can go back to like the hostess gifts that we talked about before for an individual Facebook party. You know, if someone has, two people sign up or whatever, they might get a, you know, glass or whatever, hat, journal. What could, let, let's talk about like catchy names. Like what could we call our, the party itself that would be kind of a catchy. I love Atomic Habits. God, I love that book. I have it on Audible, but I tell my son to get me the actual book for Christmas, so hopefully he does. Anyway, I don't know. If we, if we come up with some catchy, fun names, let's share them in our group. And I think even the, you know, if we're doing the, if you guys are doing the contest thing, getting creative with what to name that too. I don't know if I want to call it like the biggest loser necessarily, because <laughs> I yeah. feel like it's like so much. It, it, yeah, it's a weight loss thing, but um, gosh, to me, to me, Plexus is so much more than just weight loss. It's so much more than that. But anyways, this was good. This was good. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Gives me something else to work on this week and just look forward, you know into January. I think Nicole said she's going to do her contest on the 8th. What, what day is that? No, she's back. January 8th is a Monday. Three weeks from now.
How many days are you doing that contest? Did you say 21? Okay. So it'll go the eighth. Okay. Way through the through the month. This was great, everybody. So so good. Anybody else have anything to add? Otherwise, we'll head out and get busy. <laughs> I just saw the question about people dropping off in 21 days. Not really. I feel like a two to three week challenge is really perfect. Um, we had, I want to say three challenges, maybe two. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like summer into the fall. We were doing um, some challenges, which the whole format of it, I wasn't a huge fan of and I wasn't actually running it. Um so it wasn't mine, but they did six week challenges and those were a little bit too long. I feel like for sure. Um, but there were people that stayed, you know, engaged the whole time. I don't know. I personally like wouldn't want to do like a challenge that's more than a month, but I feel like 21 days is like kind of a magic number to like build a habit first of all. And then I don't know, it's only three weeks. Well, they say it takes 21 days to create a habit. Create you know? a habit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think that amount is kind of perfect. And I mean, the thing is they're, they're paying $10 to get in. So it's like, they have that buy-in, you know, they put some skin in the game. So why would they want to, and plus there's these great prizes on the line. I think with, with that, like, like they're not going to want to quit if there was nothing really in it for them, maybe besides obviously the w weight loss and, you know, health benefits maybe that would be different, but I don't know. Um, I had asked if anybody had any book recommendations and I lost atomic connection. Atomic Habits so back. was put in here. I was saying Atomic Habits because I mean, you can gear it toward business, but there's so much real life. That's true. I feel like I it's mean, not I as short as I was like hoping a book, our book club could be, but like, cause I have that book, but um, that's actually really great because they can, yeah, gear it towards their health habits, right? I love all of this. It's pretty exciting to me. So good. And hopefully Christy McDade has some good, you know, updated, you know, New Year's graphics or something like that for that we can grab. I like when I can grab some of her cute stuff. Okay. Well, we will. Head out. I'm going to pray a blessing over everybody as we're getting into busyness and Christmas and everything. Lord Jesus, we just come to you today. I thank you for these special ladies in my life. And I just pray blessings over each and every one of them. And Lord, you know that um, each of our hearts, you know, each of our struggles. Um, and for some of us, this time of year is hard. Some of it, some of us are struggling with sadness or grief and missing people. And some of us are just struggling with other things. And so, Lord, I just pray that you fill um, everyone's hearts here with peace and contentment. Pray that you give us all comfort and let us know that you're near. I pray your blessings on everyone's health. And I pray great blessings on everyone's finances, Lord, and our businesses, that you will open up doors and possibilities and growth. I pray that you grow our friendships closer. And I am just so grateful for everyone here. And I'm so grateful, Lord, for your grace and all that you bless us with every single day. And I thank you for this opportunity and this opportunity, not only for our health, but this opportunity that has brought extra money into our households that have been such a blessing and this opportunity that has brought us together as friends. So Lord, we give thanks for that in Jesus name. Amen. amen. Hope you guys have a blessed Christmas. Love you all. Yes. Have a very Merry Christmas. So thankful Happy for y'all. Bye everybody. Love you guys. Yep.